How's everybody doing? Welcome back to that Podcast on YouTube. Got another item here. This is thanks to Cody LL. Thank you, Cody. Last package I got in from him as of filming. He sent me this. The best of the Cinema Snob. Convention exclusive to cinemasnob.com. All right, Cinema Snob for y'all don't know. He's a YouTube guy. Uh, Brad Jones, I think is his real name. Does kind of snarky reviews of B-movies, shit like that. And... This is a collection of four episodes of Cinema Snob, plus two episodes of another thing he did called 80s Dan. One of these episodes of Cinema Snob was banned from YouTube, and not why you would think. Because he actually, he's done, he's actually reviewed a few porn films here and there, and those reviews he puts up on, like, Pornhub or something like that. You know, if you want to see him uncut, because, like, he did Bat Pussy, he did, um, shit. Might have done Debbie Does Dallas? Or, like, the Caligula, the, uh... Bob Guccione Jr., you know, Gore Vidal film. Needs to do that Caligula. But anyway, I had well, I heard I heard Sinisab, watched a few things here and there, you know, didn't know a lot about him. Just one of the, I, one of the things where I just never paid that much attention to him. Well, as most of y'all out there know, you know, the change the channel movement happened. Everybody pretty much left Channel Awesome. Cinema Snob stayed and kind of defended him. And I understand Cody's like, yeah, fuck this guy. I'll get rid of his shit. So he sent me this in one of his movies. This is Dakota and the Waffle Maker, which is not even on this. He told me that they ain't even on this. All right, so the episodes we got in here is Cannibal Holocaust, Grizzly 2, Guinea Pig, and Maniac. Guinea Pig, The Devil's Experiment. And then we get two 80s Dan's ones, which are World Games and McDLT. Then inside we get a little card with 80s Dan on it. This, the disc is nice. I mean, I don't know. It looks like it's that's a burnt disc, but it plays perfect. Whenever I watch this, as of recording like two days ago, I was over at somebody's place and we threw this in and watched it. So, how is it? Oh, all right. So, Cannibal Holocaust. Okay, Cannibal Holocaust. This is an old episode. Basically, Brad did a review of Cannibal Holocaust in the style of Cannibal Holocaust. It's like found footage and people watching the found footage. So it's a cute little premise, and it took me about a minute or two into the episode to catch on. That's what he's doing. And once he did, I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of cool. It was entertaining. The uh, commentary on this one was probably the best commentary on Everything on here had a commentary. Grizzly 2. This is the one banned from YouTube because whoever owns Grizzly 2, like, would not let the footage go up. Film's never been released. Uh, I heard about it for years. Heard it never got finished. It was not going to get out there. And then sometime in the last, like, 15 years, a work print leak. And it's not that hard to find now. Uh, decent review. Guinea Pig, uh, The Devil's Experiment. Uh, commentary is better than review, but it was entertaining. Maniac, I fucking love. This is the Joe Smanel movie. And I love Maniac in the first place. Great, great, great review. Then we got 80s Damn. World Games is the Nintendo. Um, it was made by Epic. They had California Games, uh, Olympic Games, Summer Games, Winter Games, World Games. It was okay, but here's the thing. Don't care for the 80s Dan character. And really, the only person I've ever seen that uses the Rob the Robot in their videos and makes it work is ABGN. And Brad Jones did it in this. It was okay. About the best part was watching them do the barrel jump thing. That was kind of fun. Met DLT. Ugh. Anybody out there remember this shit? It was a double-sided styrofoam container. Like, you had a... a you know, the little box you get McDonald's hamburgers in now. You have like one here is connected by the hinge to one over here. And it kept the hot side hot and the cold side cold. It's extra foam. So the thing did not, the container did not last that long because extra foam. People were already bitching about the foam shit back then. This was 80, 84, 85, I'm guessing. Well, the whole gimmick with this video is 80s Dan bought one back then has saved it because it's in the foam it should be safe and then the rest of it is just him out in the park and he's eating this it's like two hamburger buns with this green goo in between it uh it wasn't funny it really wasn't then we get a switch on the direction by him and it's Brad I don't know who the other guy is and he drinks his soda called like Beverly or something it's supposed to be like extremely bitter yeah it was, this was really interesting. I laughed my ass off at like, you know, Holocaust Grizzly and Maniac Guinea Pig. I don't know. Maybe if he'd done the whole series or something. And I want to say he threw in a Charlie Sheen joke when he was doing it. So that was funny. But not bad. I mean, 
hey, I got it for free. That's always cool. But it was entertaining. Really entertaining me. Thank you again, Cody. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this, you know. I'm going to go check out some of the guys' other stuff. Online, just see how it is. Well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember if you did, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. All the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.